My name is Meriga Emmanuel and I'm your Shores Solar Plug. Uh, there we just concluded an installation of 6 point, oh, sorry, 12.4 kilowatt uh, uh, inverter. That is two units of 6.2 kilowatt inverter from Sunfield and uh, 30 kilowatt lithium ion battery. Each of these batteries is 15 kilowatts. 15 plus 15 give us 30. I will explain how this is going to be working and I'll tell you a few advantages and disadvantages of each of these products in a brief uh, a seconds or brief minutes. So don't be in a rush. Take out time and watch this. In case you want to set up something like this, you know the disadvantage and the advantage of what you are going into. First, I'll talk about the inverter. Here we have a very beautiful inverter. If you can look at the physical appearance, it looks very beautiful. And this color also gives it this luxury feeling. If you have this in your house and somebody comes around, he'll fall in love with this very color because of the beauty. And also this, you know, play the did there, which is like an emoji, which is a smiling emoji. And uh, it has RGB lights. I love this. Yeah. In the night, you know where your inverter is located. You are, you, even though your light is off, this will show you that this is where your inverter is. I like the physical appearance, which is the luxury feeling, the emoji, the whatever it display. And uh, I also like the fact that uh, Stonefield decided to send the inverter with their Wi-Fi module in the case. So this inverter, uh, this uh, Wi-Fi module came together with the inverter. I connected it and, uh, you know, it's showing that everything is working fine, though we are unable to access it through the app because why? The disadvantage of this is Chinese forgot that they are sending this to Nigeria and they use their own language to, you know, write the app. So we couldn't connect this Wi-Fi module to the app because of the language. So that's the disadvantage of this Wi-Fi module. The language is in Chinese. So I told the client when he have time, he can go to the app, get a translator in order for him to assess this. If you don't like all that stress, then maybe you can get another Wi-Fi module which can work with this. Also, um, uh, when it comes to energy conversion, the inverter does a bit good job when it does uh, when it comes to energy conversion. That's converting high current uh, with uh, sorry high voltage with little amount of current into higher current. Uh, it does a quite good job. But one disadvantage of this inverter is the fact that if the switch is turned off, even when the grid is on and the inverter have already automatically bypassed the light, once you put the switch off. Be coming closer once you put a switch off the output goes off even with the grid on the output goes off so i went through the manual to check if there is any setting for me to do in order for the inverter to be working uh even when the switch is off and there is grid light for it to supply i couldn't find anything like that so that's one of the things i don't like about this inverter and another thing is the fact that the switching from the grid to the inverter output is slow it takes some seconds and you see the glitches or you see uh, your light shaking before it comes back on, which means uh, the switching is very, very slow. So some field, if you come across this video, you can do it by upgrading your system. The switching is too low. Somebody will notice that something is trying to switch. So it takes some seconds. It's not that fast like, you know, the speed of light. Your light will first go off before coming back on. That's one of the disadvantage or two disadvantages of this and also uh, another advantage sorry i didn't mention this earlier another advantage i like about this inverter is that it's so smart for example if something gets to you know block the fan it may immediately to stop giving your output it will show you fault to display the fault language for you uh, for you uh, to know what the problem is and to rectify it down here we have a 15 kilowatt lithium ion battery 48 volt from felicity one thing I like about this uh, battery is the fact that it has an LCD display. It will display the percent of uh, uh, the battery percent and it also display the amount of energy being consumed or the amount of current coming in. Then show you the voltage left in the battery and also the battery bars. If you can see the battery bars are not blinking now because the weather here is very dull and the system is being used right now. But the disadvantage about this battery uh, let me still give you one advantage another advantage is the fact that it have tires yes yes if it's on a flat ground you can easily push it instead of you know raising it up and down you can just push it and it will move and also the beauty look very beautiful and the color seems to somehow match with the inverter so this is like the perfect match <laughs> but the disadvantage of this is the fact that if there is so much amount of load on this very inverter on this very battery the battery starts to vibrate 
a lot of healing sound will start coming from inside like, mm, you know when you use a transformer inverter and uh, it carries enough load or so much load it starts vibrating this battery does the same thing so once the load exceed now we are consuming about 900 watts close to a kilowatt if this load shrink should increase to like two kilowatts immediately this battery will start vibrating and making human sound which makes it not to make sense please if you come across this video in case you have not been told i'm telling you that the vibration and the human sound is so high when the amount of energy or the amount of energy consumption increases so if you can do something about it it will be very very great the inverter is communicating with the battery but you know i didn't see it displaying here because we connected the communication uh cable okay are you showing us lithium here uh but i'm not sure of the communication okay so i've increased and we have about 1.8 kilowatt coming from our solar panel so right now our battery should be charging you see the battery is charging now that means they are no longer consuming from the battery because if the sun goes down or the weather is stored they might be, they might be depending on the battery on the roof we have to in four units of 400 watt solar panels do those panels are not the initial panels are intended using in this very project we have to work with the client budget because the client was complaining that there is no money and uh, you know he wants something less as stuff like that so we have to work with his budget this installation was done in odi Ogo state nigeria it's used to power a hotel if you can see this is their server uh their server house or whatever i call it uh though here this very room there is no much ventilation if you can see this is the only vent space and that vent space there will be enough air coming in so they have to make provision for fan for this system or they have to be putting on this ac once in a while maybe like 30 40 minutes for this room to cool down and you know they'll put it off so like i told you guys on the roof we have to employ you need 400 watt solar panels but those are not the intended solar panels i wanted using so we had to work with the client's budget here we have a manual changeover you all know what it is for do the inverter have inbuilt changeover we still put this manual changeover in case of maintenance you just easily switch to the grid here is our breaker box which contains two uh breaker 100 amps each 100 amps with uh an spd controlling this another 100 amps with an spd control this uh then we have a voltage guard this voltage guard protect the inverter from high voltage or under voltage from the grid another voltage guard is here which protect this with an ac breaker so we make sure that we add the inverter and also add uh the felicity uh, battery to avoid it from getting damaged by lightning so like i told you guys this installation was done in odi on those states nigeria if you can see this light on now are presently working from the inverter the server also is also working or they are also working from uh, the very inverter here to go outside we have about 17 rooms each of the rooms have about a fan tv and some light so if they have full house they will depend on the system for some time if they want to use their ac they will now put their mechano on their mechano will still charge the system at the same time so if you want something like this for your hotel which doesn't consume much energy you can you know do it by giving us a call